Well, we're in a secret location here today. We're not allowed to say where we are because there is a lot of um, kind of blockbuster movies shot here. But we're on the, the video set of our new video, um, Bop Bop Baby. So it's, it's, it's actually very, very cool. And that's why we're all kind of, we look scruffy, dirty and makeup and, you know, dodgy 18th century clothes. So, but it, hopefully in the end, it'll come together. The video is set way, way back, many, many years ago. There is this very, very pretty young kind of princess style girl who is getting married to somebody who she totally doesn't want to marry. She's getting forced to marry him. We're stuck in prison because we're the good guys and the bad guy puts us in prison. This is not a wall, but art department. So we break out of prison um, and basically ride across on horses, come in, jump into the church and, and save the day. We've got Richard Curtis involved, who's a proper kind of, you know, uh, film, you know, writer, if you like. Originally, we met with Richard Curtis, and um, we were discussing ideas around the film The Graduate with Dustin Hoffman, and we thought it'd be much more fun to do The Musketeers. We knew that it would look great, a sword fight with Vinnie Jones. Who can ask more? I basically got involved, really, because uh, I've been doing the touring with the Mean Machine, and, and the boys seem to be over touring as well, and doing all the promotions. So I sort of got to know them before they're good lads. And when they asked me, you know, I didn't hesitate really, you know. It's, it's an absolute honour, you know, to, to have him. He's gone on to, you know, even become, you know, I mean, ten times as famous as he was when he played for, you know, Wimbledon or Leeds or whatever. Um, and he is, he's a big movie, you know, blockbuster Hollywood actor now. I'm playing the baddie, but it's, it's, it's all like tongue-in-cheek sort of uh, stuff. And I'm trying to nick one of the boys' brides and trying to get her down the, down the altar. But she wants to marry one of the Westlife. Lads, and uh, they all come beat me up and steal her and run out of the church. We have to learn how to defence in this video um, because there is a bit of fighting to be done. I'm Morgan Johnson, I'm the stunt coordinator and a uh, fencing instructor um, for fight sequences for films and auto sport fencing. It's hard work, you know, but it's alright if you concentrate. I mean, if you concentrate and if you listen to the guys, that's the most important thing. And remember, always try and remember the last note that they gave you so for the next time you go into it, you're doing that. It's, it's not hard to pick up, but it's not easy. You have to be very careful, obviously. They're, like the blunted swords are not real, obviously, like samurai swords or anything. But um, you can could, you could poke someone in the eye with it or something like that, so it is kind of dangerous. But um, yeah, it's good. You pick it up. Well, I think all of us picked it up quite well, actually. I've always wanted to have a horse in the video, like, but to, to be doing like actual kind of stunts and stuff and coming through into a church, like, but it's kind of a small area, so it's not easy kind of to do it. There's nothing really you can do to prepare for it because it's... Um, at the end of the day, it's horse riding. It's just horse riding, but you're just in a confined space. One of my main fears was on the top of it was my knees going in the door. So if you catch your knees, like you're, you break your kneecaps going in the door. So that was kind of a bit kind of tricky, but it was good though. It was good fun. But I want to be an actor now, I think. Papa Baby's actually the same. It's, it's a, you know, very exciting for the, for Westside because Shane and, and, and Brian um, wrote it with two guys in Dublin. So it's the first single that we've ever had. Um, where it was, you know, written by members of the band. It's actually weird because it was written over a game of pool, actually. And it was written after... I was watching uh, the Beach Boys documentary. And after watching that, I went into my conservatory in my old house and I was just sitting there and I was just messing around and it just... I don't know, it just kind of came to me. A lot of it just came to me and I went into the studio the next day and I started singing the words Bop Bop Baby to Shane. I had a, I had a kind of a, a rough kind of skeleton of the song, what it was. and. Shane we loved us straight away and we just both sat down and we just turned it into what it is today. We, we thought it would be like a good song for the album, we never thought it would be good enough for a single but when we got it finished then we thought it was a really really good song and we put it to the record company and, and they loved it. It's kind of like one of those songs you hear on the radio and it makes you kind of tap your hand on the steering wheel if you know what I mean, off the car or whatever. Um, it's a good song, it's extremely catchy and it's a great 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 pop song you know. Of all our singles and videos this is the most important because I think we feel more, and it is our song, but we feel more of the whole, the whole campaign and the whole, what's happening is, is more about us this time. <laughs> this video has felt more, more like a movie, more real, more kind of, more feeling in it. Hopefully it'll catch people's eye more than other videos, and it'll excite people. I'm really happy with it. Like for the first time, I've really, really enjoyed the video. This video, because 
the boys rolled it. It's you know it's real. It's Westlife. It's it's coming from more or less well, two of us, but you know five of us as a band, you know, and it's it is special to us. This is a proper film. It's like total sword fight. We've never done that before. Jumping off balconies, like mad stuff. It feels like the best video we've ever shot. It is. It's action packed. It's fun. And definitely, it's a, it's a new start. It's a, it's another level, new step. Well, if this time gets to number one, lads, I'll be coming round and knocking the out of you. This is the music factory.